The 60 minute trophy challenge is back and today we are starting off with episode 15. Now, as usual, we don't have Hirschfelden or Medved on this wheel because I despise both of those maps and I refuse to play them for this challenge because it never ends well and it's always a uh, more of a grueling experience than a fun one. So I always take those two maps off because I just simply don't enjoy playing them. But if you're new to this series, basically we spin for a random map and some random weapons to use for our loadout. And then we have 60 minutes to get ourselves a diamond or a gold scoring rare in multiplayer. We have to play multiplayer that way you guys know that I don't have any diamonds or rares just on my map waiting so without further ado let's go ahead and spin for the map and see what we end up getting And it looks like we did end up getting Yukon, and I know a lot of you will be happy about that. Yukon is one of those maps that I see a lot of requests for, but I just don't play too often because I'm not super knowledgeable on a lot of the species there. Now let's go ahead and spin for three weapons to use. We're going to try and get a weapon to cover every single class. So if we need to do four, then we'll do it depending on what we end up rolling. But let's go ahead and do our first spin and see what we end up getting. Well, since we ended up rolling a shotgun for the first one, the only thing left is a class 9 weapon. And there's a lot of options here. Let's hope we don't get one of the bows. Really hoping for the 300 or the 338. I wouldn't mind the 470 or the drilling rifle, but they're not my first choices. But let's see what we end up getting. And we ended up getting the crossbow for our class 9 weapon. This is going to be a very interesting one, having to use a crossbow and an over and under shotgun. This is this is just going to be really interesting. And the hour has officially started. Let's head out into Yukon multiplayer and hope that we can just come across something worthwhile. Hopefully we don't get uh, completely screwed over with the servers that are up because that's always a possibility. But I've got a good feeling about this because there is a decent amount of servers up and it's been a while since I've hunted Yukon. So maybe I'm due for some luck on it. And we're off. Hopefully we can end up getting something good relatively quick. If not, we are going to have to spin the fail wheel, which is always a fun time. And you guys seem to enjoy watching me uh, have to do those challenges that are related to it. But we've got ourselves the crossbow right here with the winter camo since we're here on Yukon. And then I've got the gamekeeper over and under 12 gauge with slugs in it. And then I do have the 22 LR with me not to shoot anything, but just to do the 22 trick. It's uh, something we keep on us at all times just for that reason. I mean, honestly, this is a really good sign. We've got a level 12 server, which means there's a decent chance that a lot of it has not been fully searched, which is good news for us because we could find some pretty cool things because of that. Hopefully he hasn't had a chance to check all of his zones around here, because if so, maybe we can find ourselves something like a giant moose, because that would be absolutely amazing if we could find a big moose. It's been a while since I've had a nice diamond for the uh, moose, so hopefully that'll be a thing. If not, I'm sure there's some other things we could potentially find. We might have to go into the uh, kind of like, I, I forgot the name of them. It's like the red area over here. I always forget the name of it. But anyway, we're going to maybe go over there and look for some bison because they are also a species that is pretty common around that area. So if all else fails, we can always go search for them. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, hello there. That is some arlequin ducks, honestly. We could maybe even pull this off if possible. Let's just get the 12 gauge bird shot and see if maybe we can do this. You know what? Those actually have a chance at making diamond. Um, I know some of them do. I'm not sure about these in particular. That 6 to 7 probably would have a small chance, but we did end up missing it. Man, now we got to go down there. We at least got a few shots off on a couple ducks, so... I guess on the way back we'll grab those, but I do want to check everything else before we run down there. So we literally just had a best case scenario type thing happen. We got host of this server, which means we can change it to any time we want. And in that case, I think we're going to go back, grab those ducks and then change the time because I'm not really a fan of the current time. I'd like to check to see if there's any caribou or grizzly bears, so we're probably going to change time and hope that we can find one of those. Well, this is a little concerning. I don't see any of those ducks at all. I mean, we got one of them right there, but we're definitely missing one. Unless maybe that's the one that we shot at last and just didn't connect on. 
Hopefully one of these can be a level 2 diamond, but it's not looking like it so far. That one is a dark gray. Hopefully one of these will end up being good. Here we go with the second try. It is a 640 piebald. Oh, okay. I actually... Okay, I actually don't have one of these. Are, are these... Are these actually... I think this is actually rare, if I'm not mistaken. I've never killed a piebald harlequin duck, and... I've shot quite a few of them. I am going to ask a few of you guys in the Discord real quickly if this is considered rare. Because I think it actually might be. Alright, well, after asking, a lot of you said that it's just an uncommon, so we're not going to count that. Let's continue looking. Hopefully we'll have better luck looking for some caribou. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? There we go, finally something. A level 9 legendary grizzly bear. Let's just make sure there's nobody near me, and it looks like there isn't. I actually had just shot this female bear over here to get kind of a test on how the slugs would do, and we just spotted ourselves a legendary. I've only killed, I think, one legendary grizzly bear my entire time playing the Hunter Call of the Wild. If this is going to be the second one that we get, that is just going to be insane. I really hope this doesn't troll, but there's always a chance that it might. Because, if, from what I've heard, Grizzly Bear do troll somewhat often. Oh man, I really hope this goes well. I really hope this does. It's in kind of a bad spot, to be honest. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. Honestly, I think we could maybe do a 150 meter shot with the slugs. I think it should do good enough at that range. And you know what? Maybe there's even a place we can cross over here to get an even closer shot. I think that's actually what we'll try. It does look like we should be able to, and uh-oh, that's not good. So it is alerted, and I think it's alerted by us. So we're gonna have to be a lot more careful than I thought. Man, the wind is also just in a terrible direction. I don't know how this is gonna go now. This might be a little more difficult to achieve than we thought. You know, honestly, I was starting to get a little bit worried that we were not going to complete this challenge considering we were 30 minutes into it before we spotted this guy. But I'm feeling a lot better now provided this one actually ends up making diamond. I don't even remember what diamond score is for these things. That's how little I hunt them. So we're just going to hope that this guy is good enough because I really have no clue what is going to be diamond score for a grizzly bear. He is attentive now. I think if we can just get him to go broadside, this should actually be decent. Or, that works too. Please, please have enough penetration. Please have enough penetration. It's looking like we didn't get a good shot. Oh no. Oh no. Well, this just got interesting. Now, as far as I know, that should have just been a flesh wound because we did hit roughly where the lungs would be. I think it just didn't have enough penetration at that distance. So, most likely, it will come back and I don't think it'll die from a 12 gauge. At least not very fast. So, we might get a second chance here, but I can't believe we messed that up. I am going to never be able to forgive myself if this guy ends up dying before we get a second shot into it. And that right there is a moose, so that is definitely not him. Yeah, so it looks like we are good. It is a no organs hit, so hopefully we actually can find this guy again. I don't know how far it would have ran. So we're just gonna hope for the best and hope that we can actually get this guy down. And these caribou, for some reason, do not wanna leave. Typical multiplayer things. Oh, that's him. That's him right there. Okay, let's be very careful. Move as slow as we can and hope that we can get this guy down. Oh my gosh, that's him. That's him, right there. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Wow. That, that really just worked out. That really just worked out like that. I am blown away. Let's claim this guy before he runs away. Please, please be a diamond. No, it's a gold. Ah, oh, that's crushing, man. That is so unfortunate. My second ever level 9 legendary grizzly. And it's a troll. I don't know how to feel about that one. That is just absolutely heartbreaking. 
I really wanted this guy to make it, but I suppose there's really nothing we can do about it. Just gotta keep on searching. We have 20 minutes left to find ourselves a diamond. Uh, this first shot actually hit. Oh, that is a terrible spot. I am so lucky, actually. That could have easily been a headshot if he had moved just a tiny bit more down. But I mean, either way, it wouldn't have mattered. He trolled regardless, so... That is quite an unfortunate situation here. I really wish this guy would have made it. I really would love to have a second Diamond Grizzly, but... Unfortunately, just not today, I guess. I think on that note, it's time we head out to another server. Let's go to one that has a low player count. You know, honestly, this might not be a bad one. I think this is wolf time, if I'm not mistaken. I guess we'll find out once we get in there, but we're going to search around for some wolves and just hope that we can find a clutch level nine. Okay, I think I might actually be looking at a piebald fox. I hope that's what I'm looking at, at least. I really have no idea because I've never killed one before. Oh my gosh, it really is. What? Oh my gosh, our luck is crazy yet bad today because this will still not complete the challenge. But that's still really cool. I can't believe that. This is my first rare fox if we can actually get this guy down. Please, please let us get this thing down. Honestly, because it is just a level 3 female, I think I'm probably just going to shoot it with the 12 gauge slug. Since that's our best option for getting it down without too much risk. We're just going to go for that, I think. Because uh, I really don't want to risk losing this thing, considering we're in multiplayer. Bad things happen in multiplayer with disconnecting and things like that. So, let's just play it safe and take this thing down with a slug. Now, if we could just get it to move out of the trees, that would be amazing. I think now is going to be our chance. That looks like it right there. There we go, we got it down. That is my first ever rare fox. This has just become the best Yukon hunt I think I've ever been on. It's just unfortunate that none of these trophies are going to be completing this challenge, so we're probably not going to complete it. But at this point, I don't even care because we just got something I've never seen. And I am extremely happy to finally be able to add one of these to the lodge. It has been just a long time coming to finally get ourselves a rare fox. And yeah, that is a piebald female. Wow, that's crazy. That is just absolutely amazing. I am super, super happy with that. And the 12 gauge slug dropped it on the spot. Uh, too bad we couldn't take it with the proper weapon, but I was not going to let this thing get away. That is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I think that although this has definitely been one of the best Yukon hunts I've ever had, I don't think we're going to complete this challenge with only 12 minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. We're going to check a few more lakes for some fox, and if we can't find anything, it's probably going to be the end for us, and we'll have to spin the fail wheel and hope that we get something good. Well, as a bit of a last hoorah, I'm going to run over here and hope that I can get attacked by some wolves and just pray that there's going to be a level 9 in there. I think that's really our only choice at this point. I checked the lake behind us and there was no male foxes, so that's not really going to do us any good. We just got to hope that these wolves will attack and that there will be either a gold scoring rare or a diamond. Well, they didn't want to attack and I don't see anything else around this lake, so unfortunately, I think we're just going to call it there with a minute 15 or so left on the clock. That's very unfortunate, but not really too much you can do. But I think it's about time we go spin the fail wheel and see what our challenge is going to be. So as you can see, we've got a few different options from the last couple episodes that we did. Uh, I added a couple new ones based off of feedback from you guys. Uh, one of them is to brainshot a diamond. I, I believe that's one that we just recently added at least. And then we also have 100 meter max level with iron sights. Delete a drink zone from the current map. Spine shot a rare. There's a lot of different stuff in here that we could get that's not great. And then we also have a few spots that are saved, which basically just means we don't have to do anything. So let's go ahead and spin this and just hope that we don't get screwed over. Please, just please give us something good. And we have to brain shot a diamond. Oh no. Oh no. Well, we gotta do what it says, so. Guess it's time to go find a mountain lion or something. 
Well, here we go. We have finally found something that we can brain shot. Now, I'm going to have to be extra careful that I don't miss the shot because I really don't want to have to search for another one. It's been probably an hour at this point and we just need to get this thing down so that we can be done with this challenge. This is the first time I've actually purposely tried to mess up a diamond, so yeah, there's that. I, I don't know how this is going to go. I mean, to be honest, that is best case scenario. It is facing us. So that is going to make things a lot easier. We are going to be using the 308. So let's just get this over with. Let's get a brain shot in there. And of course I missed. Ah, oh, man. This is what I was afraid of. Now we're going to have to make sure that we can get a brain shot into it for the second one. And we somehow missed that one as well. It's a lot harder than you would think. You'd think it would be easy to uh, purposely mess up a mountain lion with a brain shot, but it's definitely not as we're seeing right here. Oh, this just feels so wrong. This just feels incredibly wrong, just purposely shooting this thing in the head. And it's definitely going to die from that. Well, I think we're going to count that regardless because we still messed it up. And that's basically the only point of that fail wheel challenge, so we're going to count this regardless of whether or not it was a brain shot. We did shoot it in the head twice, so it messed it up. We're just going to go with it. I am pretty curious where we ended up hitting both of those shots. I would have thought they would have been brain shots, but I guess we were either slightly low or slightly high. Let's go ahead and take a look. And it would have been a diamond, so yeah, we did complete the challenge. Oh man, it was just barely a miss on both of those. I was just a little bit too far to the right. That's actually strange. I don't remember aiming a little bit to the right, but both of them hit to the right of where we intended to hit. I mean, either way, we messed up a diamond, and uh, that was the whole purpose of that, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that fox in the trophy lodge. So I think there's only one logical place to put this thing at the moment, and that is on this wall with our piebald coyote and our two side striped jackals. We will remove the lower scoring one and replace it with this brand new fox. Unfortunately, I really don't have a full body platform to put this thing on. We've just got too many mounts in here that I don't want to remove, so we're just going to have to do this right here because they are one of the few things that can actually fit on these smaller uh, plaques that normally can only take ducks and uh, rabbits. But the stuff the size of a fox or a coyote can actually fit on here as well, so I like to utilize those whenever I can. But that's really cool. I can't believe we finally managed to bag ourselves a rare fox for the first time ever. We still don't even have a rare gray fox, but we finally got a rare red fox. Hopefully that will be good signs for the future hunts on Yukon. I am still a bit bummed out that that diamond potential uh, grizzly bear didn't actually make it. It was very sad to see that thing fall short. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed making it. This one was a lot of fun to do. Uh, considering this was one of the best hunts we've ever had on Yukon. Bagging a fox that we've never seen before. And getting our second level 9 grizzly bear that unfortunately didn't quite make it. But with that being said, if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Click that like button and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed. And let me know what you thought of this episode. With that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!